Good morning, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. It is Lori, and I am here to do your general reading for you. All right, we're going to, going to get you some information about what's going on in your life. Look at challenges, what's on your mind. We'll look at any base or root issues that might be affecting you, past influences. We'll see what your immediate future is going to be. We will also see what maybe your um, hopes and fears are concerning this particular reading. And we'll get you a final, most likely outcome. All right, I hope everyone here is happy, healthy, and having some fun. Life is an adventure. Get out there and make it what you want it to be. Let's roll the zodiac die to see what signs you might be influenced by at this time. Libras, you have just rolled. Taurus, Leo, Aries, and Scorpio energy. There is some Gemini showing through there. All right, so if you know me, then you know that I believe those are the signs within your own birth chart that are influencing you at this time. If you do not have your own birth chart, please go do a search for a free birth chart and learn more about yourself, what other signs are in your chart. All right. Four of Cups, Justice, Five of Swords, Hierophant. So it looks to me like you have been unhappy with something. You've been waiting for justice to be served with somebody that did something that was definitely not good, not right. Um, you are still waiting on that justice. Spirit is telling me. If you wish for karma to come to that person or justice to be served to you, you have to let go. You have to forgive yourself. You have to forgive that person. That does not mean you are condoning what that person did. It means you are releasing all negative energies around that situation so that you can be at peace with your life once again. Once you are at peace, that's when you will understand justice. All right, let's go ahead and ring the large chimes to clear out any negative energies. It will be loud, so please protect your ears. Three, two, one. We're also going to invite in some light and fun energy. Okay. Let us, I will get you oracle messages at, at the end of this. There will be oracle messages, maybe some angel numbers, maybe some letter die with names, words, places, objects. Whatever spirit asks me to give you is what I give you. All right, here we go. Your overall energy for this message is the judgment. You are waiting for a decision to be made, for justice to be served. This could absolutely be a court case. A divorce, a lawsuit, um, a bankruptcy claim, um, back pay. Uh, this could be absolutely anything. It does feel like it is, um, for the most part, about money. There are a couple of you here that are wanting justice to be served on a person who did you wrong. Okay, just like a, a negative, a very bad um, romantic relationship or friendship that was not a friendship at all. Um, no matter what the circumstances are, spirit again is saying to release that energy so that you can be happy in your own life. Do not give your life up and your happiness up to whatever is happening here. It's already happened. If you can release all the negative energy and focus on yourself and letting go of that and living in the here and the now, what you have today, okay? Be grateful for what you have today. That's when justice gets served, when you're least expecting it, okay? When you're not trying to force it. You can't control karma and you can't control justice, Okay, you might represent justice in the tarot card deck, but that does not mean you control justice. It simply means within your own life that you strive for balance, fairness, equality, and harmony. All right, let's go ahead and see what's holding back this uh, judgment from coming through. Let's see what we've got here. 
I, I need one card here, Spirit, please. I'm trying to do a clear message here. Let's go ahead and get one card. There it is, the Four of Cups. Okay. So you're very unhappy, and your unhappiness is keeping you unhappy. It's the way things are. If you focus on the negative, you get more negative. If you start focusing on the positive, you're going to see more positive things around you. It's like that blue car syndrome. You go out and you buy a brand new blue car in a color you've never seen, in a shade of blue you've never, ever even seen. And you're so excited to be driving around in this color, being all noticed and everything else by everyone else, and all of a sudden you start noticing that one out of every ten cars or blue cars is the exact same shade. You never noticed it until you noticed it, all right? So you didn't notice that you were holding yourself back until you noticed it. All right, let's go ahead and see what else we've got here. So that may be an obstacle, a challenge to your happiness, holding yourself in that um, negative energy because you are the only one who can decide if you're gonna be sad, happy, um, joyful, angry, you are the only person that can decide your emotions, how you are going to feel, okay? People can do stuff to you. That does not mean stuff and good stuff. It does not mean that you have to respond in kind. It means you get to choose how you react, how you respond. What emotion do you want to have in that situation? So if you're looking for justice, let go of all try, uh, trying to control any situation and just be happy. Just be happy with what you've got in your life right this minute because that's all you've got is right this minute. All right, let's go ahead and see what's on your mind. What are you thinking about here? Yeah, you want to change directions. Yep, and you know what? Sometimes life just is on pause until we can have those courts or other people make those final decisions. But in the meantime, look, there's a celebration going on here in the background. Until you decide which way to go, okay, or you're released from this judgment, enjoy every single moment of your life. Be grateful for the things that you do have. Interesting. Interesting. Let's go ahead and see... Um, what's, what's at the base of the problem here? Why are you holding yourself in this energy? Because it, it is definitely you holding yourself in this unhappy, um, brooding, like, my life sucks, I can't do anything. Yes, you can. Every morning you can choose to get up and be happy. All right, five of swords. Yeah, somebody definitely has treated you poorly. Yep, and I don't know a human being out there who hasn't been treated like crap, who hasn't been betrayed, who has not been through difficult relationships. Um, very few people have ever, have never had difficulties in relationships. There are those. It used to be a thing where most people were happy. Now, the tables have been turned in society. Most people have been treated poorly, okay? Somebody has taken advantage of us. We all get through it. We all learn at different points how to move past these things. So that's what's keeping you stuck is past multiple, multiple betrayals, multiple um, negative situations, all right, so it's understandable why you are where you are. There's no doubt about that. Absolutely. But you, um, Spirit's saying, you've got to have a different perspective on this. Different perspective. Let's see what your immediate future is going to look like here. Spirit, what can you tell our lovely Libras about this particular message? What is their um, immediate future here concerning this situation? Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. If you can get yourself in this moment of not worrying about what's happening in this judgment with other people's lives, what other people are doing, saying, thinking, if you can just be happy in your own moment, okay, and just keep doing that throughout the day, Ten of Pentacles. You'll see that you're much more connected than you think you are. You will find that you have a lot more support around you than you think you do. You will find that there is a lot more good in the world than there is negative. 
what you focus on expands and you're going to take it right up to the ten of pentacles okay beautiful energy here let's go ahead and see what past influences may have caused this okay what else in your past here we've got the five of swords so we know getting stuck okay sacrificing yourself for other people's happinesses happinesses uh-uh not even a word don't even go there nope <laughs> no you've sacrificed yourself long enough and you know what this this card right here makes me so happy because you got a porcupine right here okay which tells me you're starting to get prickly about this you're you're getting to the point where you're like i don't care what they think i don't care what they do i'm happy i'm here i'm right where i want to be i'm grateful for everything i have i've got my health and if you don't have your health what portion of your health do you have and be grateful for that so say your legs don't work perfect be grateful for what part of your legs do work perfect be grateful for the awesome brain that you have that keeps you thinking, growing, and expanding. Be grateful for the friends that you have. You, you are really, yeah, you're really at a point now here in the very near future um, where you're done. You're done letting other people, you're done sacrificing your soul, your happiness, your joy for other people to treat you like this. And you know what? When people... When people are kind and generous the way you have been, people will take advantage of that because you're offering everything up for free. You're giving it away, okay? The old saying used to be, why pay for the cow if you can have the milk for free? Why pay for that cow? Why take care of that cow if you can go somewhere and just get that milk for free? Think about that. Really, really think about that. It's a matter of self-respect, okay? So don't give yourself freely and everything, expecting somebody else to do the same. First of all, they have free will, and they get to choose how they respond. But when you sacrifice your happiness for somebody else's, the only person you are hurting is yourself. So don't do that. Don't do that. I love you too much, Libras. Don't do that to yourself. Please, okay? A lot of us have gone through that. A lot of us have gone through that, men and women, okay? Not just women, but mostly women, but a lot of men have gone through that too. Sacrificing for to make somebody else happy. It doesn't work that way. You both should be independently happy, coming together and increasing that happiness for each other. All right, let's go ahead and see what how you're viewing yourself in this situation. Oh, you're ready to set yourself free. Knight of Swords there. Yep, you're ready to send the word out. Clear the air. Speak your heart. Look at that. Look at that blue. That's the truth, the sword of truth pointing up there. You are ready to declare your truth. All right, so you're feeling confident here. You're starting to gain your confidence. Wonderful. You're gaining clarity, understanding. Um, and I'm hearing here that this is you um, establishing your boundaries. What, what do you represent, okay? What matters to you? What makes you happy? And I'm not talking about, oh, it makes me happy to go out on Friday nights with the guys or the girls and leave my partner at home. That's not the type of thing I'm talking about making you happy. Um, this is more of... I can't get into this too deep. Let's see if I can give you a quick example of your boundaries, okay? Your principles, what makes you happy. When somebody treats you with respect, that makes you happy. When somebody says kind words to you instead of negative words, that increases your happiness. Your boundaries and principles and morals are when somebody does not treat you with respect, then you know that you need to set yourself free from that energy, whatever that means for you in the moment. Do you have to leave the person? Not necessarily. Do you need to clear the air, speak your truth? Probably, okay, but not always. So keep that in mind, all right? You don't even have to declare. You don't have to go out there and rampage. We got justice showing here, okay? Um, you just have to be you. I mean, you can keep the peace and stand firm. 
You don't have to go out there ranting and raving or anything else. All right, let's go ahead and see what's happening um, here in your environment. What's going on around you concerning this situation? What do our Libras need to be aware of, Spirit? Eight of Swords. Yeah, you've been trapped up inside your head. And guess what? That's a self-imposed prison. Okay, so going, you've been keeping yourself stuck in this energy. No one else. No one else. This is the Eight of Swords, a self-imposed prison. And that's Nine Swords, okay? And it's been some sort of fear within you of rejection, of disappointment, of heartache, of being alone, whatever it is that you are afraid of. Once you acknowledge that, you set yourself free and you can speak your truth and be authentic, okay? So that's why you do have to sit still and honor your emotions. Why do you feel the way you do? What's going on? All right, let's take a look here and see what is going to come out. Hopes, fears, what's it going to be? A new start, hope. You have hope for the future. You have a, you have a desire for a new beginning to build something fresher i'm seeing a path home some of you are looking to return to your childhood home maybe to a partner that um you you i don't know i feel like you walked away from somebody here you left them behind um maybe you want to start fresh with that person maybe you want to go back to a, a job a career or something else that you want um, that you walked away from. Maybe you just took a break from it. Maybe you went on vacation and now you're seeing things differently. Maybe some of you took a, what do they call that, a, a period of separation in a marriage or a relationship. There's a web here, okay? There is some connection here. This is not new completely. Um, this feels like going back and dealing with a situation that needs to be dealt with. So if you've been treated poorly, by, um, yeah, a, a relationship, a co-worker, a friend, a job. Some of you are going to start fresh in this circumstance. Others of you, you're going to move away from this energy. You're still going to feel that little pull every now and then. But Spirit's saying that a spider's web can be blown away. Get out the vacuum cleaner. You can suck all that stuff up. Boom. Everything's over and done with. All right. So there's the boundaries I was talking about. Seven of Wands on the bottom of the deck. All right. Let's see. We were already at 1747, and we are going to leave this the way this is. We're going to get you a couple of Oracle messages and move on. So there is a judgment coming. There is a, a final decision, something that um, you are waiting for here. Spirit's asking you to be in the moment, okay? Live in the moment. Be grateful for the things that you do have. We can see why you feel the way you do about these circumstances, but if you can get yourself into the moment, okay, you will start increasing your prosperity, your happiness, your confidence. I'm also seeing that judgment will come through a lot quicker. It's going to come through much quicker, Somebody may have been trying to deny it, um, hide it, um, fight you all the way. But guess what? It's about to come loose. It's about to be set free. You are about to be set free here and be able to have a new beginning, a new perspective on the whole forgiveness thing, a whole new perspective on your life. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and see what angel number comes out here. 0220, act on your own ideas. Realistic and a practical approach to your goals is needed. Divine timing is in effect here. Your ambition matters. Cooperation with yourself, your higher power, and those around you. And a need for discipline. You have the benefit of good fortune, Libra. And if you use your wise judgment, okay, you can do anything. In this place, you can reach new heights. You may want to act on your own potential when you see this pattern, since what you focus on is what will grow. Be in the moment. You will experience a spectacular ascent. Arise, okay? 
0550, you just got, the, no, this is the eye candy one. I don't know why they call that this, and then the message is so totally different. Using your intuition, inspired action, beauty, art, specializing, socializing, going with the flow, tapping into your true potential, and romance. Okay, I guess I can see the eye candy here with the uh, art, the beauty, and the romance. Get some fresh air or call some of your pals over there, Libra. Come on, take a look around you. There is so much for you to appreciate, to discover, to see the beauty and goodness in the world again. Live in the here and the now. How do you do that? Get together with people you trust. Have fun. Go places where you enjoy yourself. Either you will soon become in an, involved in an exciting new project, or you may be going out on a date. Put your charisma to use everywhere and spread that loving Libra charm around. All right, let's get you three yes or no answers here. Nope, we're going to use the dice today. Ooh. All right. So one through five will be a no answer. Six through 12 will be a yes answer. And that gives you one more opportunity for a yes versus a no. All right. I will give you any messages that come to me after I roll the number. Answer number one, yes or no, is a yes answer. That is a seven. You're on the right path. You're going to you're going to move forward. You may have to take a step back, but you're going to continue to move forward, and you will reach your goal. You have seven, eight, twelve, and nine. Answer number two, yes or no is a two. That is an, a very strong no. Okay, you will be going backwards. So you have two, three, one. Answer number three, yes or no, is a one. That is an absolute no. Something has to change, okay? Something within you, some belief, some thought, some feeling, something within you has to change before you can come into alignment, but it's going to happen for you. I am hearing so many of you are about to do this, all right? You just have to find that balance, find that thing, and close the door, close the cycle. You have five, six, and 11 on this side of the dice, okay? You're anchored, four of wands plus yourself, okay? So you will achieve some sort of goal here. And then you have six and four, which is 10, and then you have 10 down here on the bottom. So there's two things. Maybe the way you look at two different things or maybe the way you look at something and the way you deal with something, all right? Once you close out those two cycles, you are going to achieve ascension, your goals, stability, happiness, security. Love all that for you. All right, I've got the letter die here. Whatever comes out, comes out. It could be people, places, things. I smell things. Yesterday, I think it was roses. It might have been the day before. Um, I've smelled cherry tobacco pipe um, smoke. Anyways, whatever comes out, comes out. Take it if it resonates and leave it if it doesn't. All right, William, Venice, Nancy, Nate, Jessica, Jennifer, Vanna, Havana, Heath. That was H E A T H, Heath. Butler, Butera, Bono. Jacama, JC, Balima, Baja, Kabbalah, Backwoods, Dagwood, Sierra, Chi, Chai, Jaden, Jade, Mac, Magical, Magi, Magdi, 
Tilda, Matilda, Edwina, Eden, Kansas, Arkansas, Binghamton, Camden, and that's what I've got for you guys. If you're interested in a personal reading, please email me. I will send you all the details. My email address is in the home page. If you go there or someplace where it says more links, five more links, click on that and it will open up all this information for you. Otherwise, just email me at yourempressenergy at gmail.com. Um, don't forget to tickle tap, boop, or zap that like button if this resonated with you. Claim it in the comments. And if you are a returning subscriber and you have not yet um, subscribed to the channel, or yeah, a returning viewer, and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, what's holding you back? Drop me a comment. Let me know why you don't subscribe, okay? All right, if you have not and you want to, please join our awesome community here. And if you are new here, welcome, welcome. I hope you found something that resonated with you and that you come back in the future. All right, my lovely Libras, until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.